Hey, hello, beautiful filmmakers. How are you today? I am so good. I am so good. It's Monday. My little one is sleeping. It's snowing outside. So I'm not doing my screenwriting class tonight, which I'm kind of bummed about because everyone was coming along so well and I feel like it really sucks to put a pause on that. But the roads, I think, will be pretty treacherous, so I don't think it'll be worth people trying to drive there, you know? So we're going to take a break. And some of you might know that registration closed this morning, early this morning, on my filmmaking course, the first one that I've ever launched called the Shoot From The Heart Filmmaking Course. That's a terrible name. <laughs> so I'm, I keep saying it, but if anyone can come up with a better name for me, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a percentage. I'll give you a cut, you know, if you come up with a great name. But I'm so excited. A whole bunch of filmmakers have signed up to do this course. I am so excited for you. If you're one of the people that have signed up, I am just pumped for you and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure you have a fantastic experience and that you are supported and that you make your movie. And I mean this. So if you're one of those people, thank you so much for signing up and let's do this. It's gonna be so fun. And if you didn't sign up, why not? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, if you didn't sign up, I'm sure you're, you're, you're on a good path too. And I am here for you as well. Basically, I was thinking about it this morning. I just root for filmmakers because I root for underdogs. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. You know, I, I was thinking about it and I thought, I spent so much of my life being afraid of being an artist. You know, I spent the whole of my 20s, basically running and hiding and drinking too much and indulging in terrible behavior and all because I was afraid to be an artist and I really didn't believe that I could be a filmmaker. It didn't cross my mind and I just wished there could have been someone out there saying to me, yes, you can, yes, you can. And so I just want to be that person for filmmakers. I want to be that person who says, yes, you can. And I, and I mean it because I've done it now, you know? So that's why I'm here. That's it. That's all. So I'm also here because it's Monday and every Monday I do um, the Filmmaker to Filmmaker session. And Filmmaker to Filmmaker is just this thing that I just, I just had this brainwave one day. No, okay. I don't know, I'm in a weird mood, probably because I'm snowed in. But Filmmaker to Filmmaker is basically when I just take a question from a filmmaker and I get, I get asked questions all the time about different things and so I just like choose a question and then answer it. And it's weird because I had this one question that I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe I'll do that. And then I got two other filmmakers wrote to me with almost the same question this morning. So I was like, okay, this is the question. Now, curiously, the three filmmakers who all sent me variations of the question, not exactly the same, but kind of the same, are all women. And I'm not gonna say that this is specifically a woman problem, but bear with me, there might be elements. Um, so basically the question, the first person that wrote to me wrote and said that they have done a number of shorts before and they've actually had quite a bit of success with their shorts. They've played in some very good festivals and you know, all that kind of good stuff. And now they've been trying to get a feature going for quite a while, but it's not going and they're thinking about doing another short or maybe doing a different feature or whatever, you know, but really it was kind of like, should I do another short? Look, my thoughts on this, you know, it's really kind of simple. I just go like, if you want to make shorts, make shorts. If you want to make a short now, make a short now. If you want to make a feature, make a feature, right? Like, don't do the short because you think it's going to get the feature, especially when you've already done a handful of shorts and they've done great. You know, what are you waiting for? Like, I'm just like, I'm reading this and I'm like, what are you, why are you writing to me? Just get your ass in gear and make your freaking feature. You know, you don't need to be writing to me. You don't need to be second guessing yourself. You don't need to be asking yourself, should I do another short? You're just, you're pretending to be confused, you know? And there's no reason for you to be confused. You have made short movies that have done extremely well, okay? You want to make a feature now, so you make a feature now. You do not confuse yourself by giving yourself different options. That's not, you know, that's not allowed. Once you get into the mode of just saying, I am making a feature, then you stick in that mode, right? And I am not in any way poo-pooing shorts or saying don't make shorts to everyone because I sort of go, look, if you want to make a short, you make a short. That's a good thing to do. But if you want to make a feature, do it. And especially with this person, you know, it kind of, it just kind of surprised me. So I'm like, you're telling me that you've made shorts that have really played at a high level. They've been very well received. You know, you've been to film school, right? Well, like, Girlfriend, just do it, okay? <laughs> just do it. 
And as I said, weirdly, I got two other emails that were kind of on a similar theme. And this got me thinking, and as I say, they were all from women. Now, I don't want to blame women for the fact that women don't get opportunities in our industry because I am not into that, right? There is systemic sexism and it's undeniable. When you are consistently like 4% of movies are made by women, there's a problem and it's not women, okay? And it's not because women don't want to do these bigger movies and it's not because the women aren't there and they don't have the skill set and all that thing. So I'm not here to blame women. There's a systemic problem in our industry. But I am also gonna say that women often do suffer from a confidence issue. And people talk about it, the confidence gap. You might have heard that. And it's real, you know? I personally, I once had an experience. I was being mentored uh, through the Sundance Women in Film program. And my mentor was a studio exec, a woman. And they had a social occasion. We all got together, all the mentees and mentors. And I was talking to her and she was like, she, was, she wasn't actually really talking to me. She was talking to another studio exec. You know, so the three of us were standing there and she's really talking to this other woman. And she says to this woman, oh yeah, we're trying to get this movie off the ground and we'd really like a female director, but we've only got two names on the list, you know? And I'm standing there and I'm like, uh, that sounds like my dream project, by the way. You know, but I didn't say that. What I said was, you know, I'm really curious about what you just said that you only have two names on the list. How do I get on that list? What do I need to do to get on that list to be considered? And you know, and she sort of like, mm, started like thinking about it. And the other woman jumped in and she's like, do you know what's really interesting? She goes, I don't think guys ask how to get on the list. They just say, hey, put me on the list. It's a really interesting distinction. And she went on to say, and this was quite an interesting little anecdote. She went on to say that she actually um, was in the room when Brett Ratner ended up getting hired for his first big directing job. Brett Ratner, ooh. Um, and Brett Ratner, basically, she said he came in, he was like 25 years old or, you know, like something like that and um, never directed a movie. And there he is pitching for this like big movie, you know, a hundred million dollar movie. He's pitching for it. And she's like, he's just so sassy. He's so entitled. He's so like, you know, like he's got the job already. And he walked out and the producer was like, oh, you know, who was that kid? Right. My God, the confidence of him. Right. And she said, you know, they didn't give him the job. They hired somebody else. The person that they hired, though, dropped out for some reason, you know, a, a month later or two months later. And they're sitting there going, who should we get? And the, suddenly the producer's like, what about that kid? Right? And he got hired. The rest is history. And she said, I just can't even imagine a female filmmaker coming into the room like that. And I was like, to be honest, I don't think a woman, I don't think a female filmmaker gets that opportunity, you know? I, I, I really don't think we do get the same opportunities. But... I think it is true that even if we do get the opportunity, we're still trying to justify ourselves, we're trying to justify our place in the room. Now this ties into the woman making these short movies because I sort of go, it's that thing where she goes, you know, it's like, like she feels like she still needs to prove herself even when she's made other shorts that have like done really well. You don't need to prove yourself, love. If you wanna make a feature, do it, you know? And at one point in your life, you're just gonna to have to step up and say, I deserve to do this. You know, why not? Why not me? Why can't I do this? Me, I'm doing this, you know? And it takes a huge amount of courage to do that. It takes a huge amount of courage to be a filmmaker. And for some of us, that is like natural and we're entitled to it. You know, the Brett Ratners of the world, right? You know, they're just there like, of course, I'm gonna direct a feature, you know? And I'm gonna direct a hundred million dollar feature for my first movie, you know? And others, like, it's harder. And we have to do the work on ourselves. And so what I'm gonna say, if you are somebody who's struggling with this question, should I do a short or should I do a feature? I'm just gonna say, keep it simple. Keep everything simple. Simple is good, right? So keep it simple and say to yourself, do I want to make a short? Get quiet, is that my calling? You know, am I being guided to make a short? And if you are, then make a short, that's awesome. You know, if so you want to make a feature, own it, own it. Do not make excuses, do not hide, do not shut yourself down, own it. Say, I am making my feature, all right? And <laughs> no excuses. And once you make that decision, stick to it, okay? Keep taking action every single day, all right? And as I say, many of us will have to do work on our sort of confidence and on our sort of sense of entitlement. I have so much to say about this because as I say, I literally spent my entire 20s like in terror 
of claiming my space in the world as an artist, thinking that I had no right to be one, that I would never make a living as one, et cetera, shutting myself down at every uh, step of the way. And I don't ever want anyone else to do that. I will help anyone you know, go beyond that because to me, creativity is our birthright. And I love helping people you know, own their birthright, be who they're meant to be. Okay, so that's it for today. That's all I got, filmmaker to filmmaker. I hope you guys are awesome, having a beautiful Monday, and keep making movies, you know? Own your space, own your dreams, and have at it, okay? I love you.